Hey Crushers, Young here, bringing you another Crush Them All video in our Heroes Magnified series, sponsored by Godzy Lab. As a reminder, my private Discord server is open to the public. The link is in the description below this video. It would be great if you joined. Today's video is going to be covering Scud. Scud is arguably one of the most important heroes for PvP modes that exists in the game and one of the best heroes to focus on for backline DPS or damage per second. Scud offers an amazing 4-star ability that buffs the damage of all of your heroes, including himself. He brings a strong base area of effect damage. He also brings fire elemental damage, which is more effective against strong frontline heroes such as Gladiator and Leafblade. His medals are fairly easy to get started with since he's available from um, a starter pack. His medals are available from the Sorrow Crusher chest, requesting his medals on Epic Sunday, and you can farm him from Fire Dungeons. It's not super easy to max him out. Uh, you can see I've yet to max mine. However, I am focusing on maxing mine as soon as possible, and that is what I'm currently saving my magic medals towards. Now when building Scud, it is important to give him runes that complement a high damage per second. The highest potential sets for him are Damage, Rage, and Precise, or abbreviated as DRP. Funnily enough, one of the sets that offer the highest potential for him are Damage, Precise, and Swift, which abbreviated is DPS. Now this screenshot here is for Mr. Moogle. It shows the amazing damage potential that a fully maxed Scud with fully maxed 6-star runes would be capable of in ideal circumstances. Now, I will say this is an unachievable build, but it does show the right direction to build in for maximum effectiveness. One thing that the screenshot doesn't effectively show is that Scud does also require as much attack range as you can possibly give him. The more the better so that he can stay out of the AOA range of other heroes. Now to elaborate further, Scud is great early in for his 4 star ability in early to mid game for PvP purposes. You shouldn't bother with runes, weapons, or awakening him at all until you have him to at least 6 stars with at least 70% attack range. That way he can stay alive and dish out actual damage. Um, typically, the runes that he would need would be better used on Dark Hunter and Sorrow for early and mid-game, since their medals are far easier to acquire, and you'll have them at a higher level sooner. We'll be covering this in more detail in the upcoming Heroes Magnified Sorrow video. Now, Scud offers great support to virtually any PvP team, and should be strongly considered for usage in both Arena and Guild Wars, as he will both buff other heroes and bring damage when built properly. For best overall effect, you'll use him both with other DPS heroes and with strong tanks in front of him absorbing enemy damage. Leaf Blade, Gladiator, Spike, and Skeleton Giant are all viable wall tanks that can be used in your front line to keep Scud safe in the back line so he can dish out damage and help bring the enemy front line down. Now, Pookie, or PK Roman numeral 3, and Medev ranked Scud as an S class hero for PvP modes in their PvP tier list. The PvP tier list factors in several things, such as how easy it is to get medals for the hero, as well as acquiring runes to make an optimal build for the hero. And you can see here that um, they've given a moderate border, uh, orange and red, um, indicating it's not as difficult as it is to get medals for some other heroes, um, such as you know Tesla and Trickster. Um, but still difficult to fully build out. Um, and personally, I'd say I completely agree and rank Scud as an S-Class hero as well. Um, I think this is because he brings so much to the table in regards to his team buff, 
to his damage, and his element in the current meta. Let me know what you think, though, in the comment section below. In addition to being used for PvP modes, such as Arena, Guild Wars, and Blitz, Scud is also used by many players for staging. If he spawns first, and there are no enemies that have spawned yet, he will target the, the uh, crystal, and he can destroy it before anything else happens. He does have a slower move speed, and ultimately will clear stages slower than Monkey King in most circumstances, but he is very viable for this game mode, and could be considered if you prefer his ultimate over Monkey King's ultimate attack. Now, before I get into the full conclusion for today's video, I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. Um, we're trying a different format with, with the videos here, um, where I put all the informational stuff in at the end. So if you could let me know what you think of that in the comment section below, that would be great. Um, while you're at it, we do still need additional feedback on what other heroes you're wanting to see as part of the Heroes Magnified series. Um, the next hero featured will be Sorrow, but what would you like to see after that? I need to know, so be sure to post below and give your feedback there. The next thing I wanted to cover is that the channel is undergoing some changes on the back end. I'm using new software for compiling the videos, new software for recording the audio, and I plan to use contributions to this channel through the Patreon page to purchase new hardware such as a microphone and pop filter. If you'd like to contribute to any of that, be sure to check out the Patreon page and the private Discord server, both of which I've linked in the description below. Now, as I move into the proper conclusion for today's video, I would like to take a moment and give special acknowledgement to King Richard, also known as Medev, for making the thumbnail for today's video. I'd like to thank the Discord users who helped contribute to this video in terms of the content. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Moogle, Flocky, Medev, and Pi. I would like to thank those of you who are interested in donating to this channel. Once again, the link for my Patreon is linked in the description below. And then finally, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who take the time to make it this far into each of my videos. Your continued support is the reason I do this. So thanks for watching.